Hey guys, this is Yo-Yo Dieter. I'm just getting back with you. It's been a little while since I've finished my last diet, and yes, I did accomplish it with uh, getting down to the 200. Now, up till vacation, I was sticking at about 210, so it came back really fast. So, I just want to show you what I think is the better diet for people to go on. It works out really good, and it's cheap diet. You don't have to buy special food. There is one thing you do have to buy, and you just have to keep track and keep an eye on what you're eating. But let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is all you really need to buy, right here. Put that on there. And what I do, don't matter what you're eating, See, it's cinnamon toast crunch there. And you see I got 3.8, I got the milk. I consider the milk as a food, so I do weigh it. Uh-oh, went over her. But that's what I do. I just weigh my food. I do this four times a day. The reason I think this uh, diet is better than the other ones is because it keeps you full through the day and you're not lo losing your nutrients, you're not starving yourself or anything like that. But let's go ahead and see where I'm at and this is going to be day one. Two fifteen point six. So I gained. 5.6 pounds on my vacation and we had a lot of fun we went to old jellystone park kids loved it they have big water things and all that and also what i've been doing is i go for a walk every morning now the walk can vary from an hour to an hour and a half sometimes two hours if i'm just feeling like walking so it is quite a bit of walking now with that being said I don't really think that you would need to walk at all. I don't go to the gym or anything because we lost your gym membership and I haven't bought any weights yet. I get the weight down and get in a routine before I get going investing in weight sets and all that. But you can go walking. I wake up about 6 o'clock, try to get out of the house about 6.30 and go walk until 8 and come back, wake up the kids. So it, it works out pretty good. Now, uh, like this morning over here i'll go ahead and post my summary from this morning and how much calories i lost or how far i went it was about four miles or something but you know that's what i do and the reason i do the walk in the morning is because i feel like it starts your metabolism it wakes you up makes you feel good makes you feel in the mood to lose weight makes you feel like you're on the right track you get up you put on your headphones, you get out, and you do that walk. Uh, and you go enjoy yourself. It doesn't have to be around the park or a track or on a treadmill. Just go for a walk. You can go as slow as fast as you want. But every time I get home from my long walks in the morning, I gotta take a massive poop. I will let you know at my next meal what I'm eating. But this one here, 10 ounces of... Cinnamon Toast Crunch with cereal, milk, and next one will probably be about noon, and then I also take a snack about four when the youngest wakes up from nap, and then we eat dinner, and that's 40 ounces of food. The average human eats three and a half to four pounds of food a day. That's only about two and a half pounds doing it this way. And you feel full all day and it's keeping your metabolism you're not overloading your body with all this crap that's kind of why i feel it's going on because even when i do do this diet and i splurge at night like eat some peanut butter or something it don't really impact it too much i mean i'm not going to lose anything if i eat too much i can gain like two three pounds in one night if i get too carried away 
get drunk and eat a full pizza or something. I could do it. But other than that, this is my favorite diet because I can eat anything. I don't have to. You can go to the store, the aisles in the store, and pick up pretty much anything off the shelf. And it tells you how much it weighs. Now, most times the weight may not be right 100%. Or if it's something that you cook in the microwave and put water in, that water is also going to account for a lot of that weight. So it, it's a battle about making sure that you just have the weight in the food that you're eating. But anyways, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, 215 pounds starting on Monday up here. You can see it up at the top there, August 2nd. Hey guys, as you see, it's about noon here. And... I just wanted to come and let you see what I was having for lunch. Okay. There we go. The scale is zero. I made me a regular bologna sandwich with mayonnaise and cheese. Let's see where that's at. Five ounces. Now, you could do pear, you'd do chips and stuff like that, but to be honest with you, I like fruit. I ate a lot of grapes, I ate bananas. I do all that stuff, so it don't really hurt me. And this is peaches that kids have left over from lunches, or pears, I should say. Then we got it would hold a lot more chips. I just feel like the pears is healthier, so I eat the pears. I mean, those chips are usually about one ounce per bag. Now, I'm not saying that on this diet you can sit there and eat 10 bags of chips, but um, we got sandwiches and pears. See you at, what is that, Liner, <laughs> the meal between lunch and dinner. The idea is to do it every four hours. Now, it may be better to do it every two hours, at five ounces per meal because what you're doing is you're just getting your body to where it is constantly burning it is using up everything you put in there and I think that's what it is because when it's time for me to eat again I or I get hungry about the time it's time to eat and then when I go to bed like if I stay up early at night which is what gets me we eat about six seven sometimes eight o'clock and I'll stay up till 12 o'clock, and of course at 12 o'clock I'm ready to eat some more food, especially when I got the munchies. But that's the only thing that I've been having a problem with on this diet to stay out. But anyways, I'll see you the next meal. Hey guys, it's me again. I am just coming back with third meal today. Here we go again. Another sandwich. It's kind of hard to come up with four meals a day sometimes. This time it's peanut butter and jelly. Mm. And it ain't none of that uh, vegan stuff. It's just the cheap stuff. Like blackberry. Preserve. Oh, I guess it's a preserves. Whatever that is. And just some creamy Jeff. Got that on sale at the store the other day. Okay, we got 308. Sorry about the pears. The kids ain't eating these, so of course, being a dad, you gotta eat the leftovers. Alright, uh, 6.6, .6, huh? Look at what. Okay, put the pieces of clothes wherever they go. Or just put them over there on the bedside table. Man, I don't want that many crackers. Jesus. You guys are going to think this is crazy. I mean, I thought it was crazy the first time. But logically, it should work. Because the average person eats four pounds a day. Is what it says. And it seemed to work when I did it. 
so hey, hey. I don't care. <laughs> Don't mind Davis and Butthead in the background. Man, there's a lot of food. 10 ounces. All right, I'll be back with dinner and I'll show you that. Okay, I'm trying to eat all my food, but. Are you gonna die soon? Things like this happen all the time. Ryder, those are my grapes. Those are mine. Hey, I only got like three grapes. Yeah, you have my pair. That's okay, bud. That seemed like quite a bit anyway. Hey guys, it's me one last time now. Uh, this is meal number four. Just want to show what I'm having now. Okay, there we go. And... Mm, it's just spaghetti, really. Spaghetti is really heavy because of the sauce. So, it's going to be a smaller meal, but shoot, I could eat this. This will all get eaten. So, don't matter. But, it's my wife's recipe. Just put a little bit of cream cheese in your spaghetti. I also like onions in it. Just noodles. That's my 10 ounce meal there. 9.9, uh, .9. whatever, still works. Hey guys. Okay, that's the end of the day. As you see there, it's 11.08. And I just wanted to finish and see how much I lost today. Haven't ate nothing but the four 10-ounce uh, meals. And I did drink one of these. One of those right there. But these are supposedly diet. So I'm just going to keep track of it. I think just eating that much i feel fine i'm not really hungry i could snack see 214.6 i think if you just keep it to 10 every four hours or five every two hours you know pretty much to where you're just consuming that amount of weight and food I think you'd lose weight just fine and you wouldn't really be hungry as long as at night you didn't snack and eat a bunch of crap like I do. I eat a lot sometimes at night. But anyways, see you tomorrow. Peace.